Hey there, welcome to Michael On The Go and I'm your host, Michael Giannotti. Hospital care for loved ones and coordinating with friends and family with Microsoft Teams. So, um, recently I was up in Michigan, in fact I'm driving back now, and uh, while I was here it was for uh, the passing of my mother-in-law and we had you know a lot of relatives up here and there's a lot of coordination that needed to take place and as it got me to thinking you know as we look at people when they're in critical care in hospitals our friends family loved ones as we have people you know in uh, end of life and hospice and things like that with all the coordination that needs to take place people needing to uh, you know, coordinate visitations, needing to, they're wanting to share documents, uh, share pictures and images of loved ones and things. There's a whole range of things that take place that really are very similar to the collaboration we experience within the enterprise space. Microsoft Teams provides the ideal place for that and it is available for free. You can set up a Microsoft Teams uh, entity and you can use it via the web or via the app on the PC, the Mac, uh, iOS like I'm recording right now Android etc doesn't cost a dime you can have up to 300 people in it there's ample space for storage you get the office web applications and you're able to do all those things that you may need to do in a private secure environment not something like you know some of the social media pieces that are out there and you don't want the whole world to know what you guys are talking about and sharing but in a private secure area that's respectful of the family and what you may be going through but still allow for that ready collaboration so it's a great way to do that you know Microsoft Teams has been available for free for a while you can use it for sports clubs and other entities you could use it just for family events you know ongoing even think about that friends and family and you have an event a family reunion other things you can use an Excel spreadsheet to sign up or other pieces that are there but they it allows a great place for you to securely share pictures, to share documents, do other things that you might need to do with your friends, your family, your loved ones, around anything uh, to do with critical care, to do with um, end of life, to do with funeral arrangements, etc. And again, to have it not only in a secure way, but in a way that's respectful of the privacy of the family and not having to have it all out there on social media. Social media is great, Many people are more and more reticent about things, especially when they want to share personal things of a nature, you know, um, images, we were just at a funeral, and imagery around, you know, from the funeral, et cetera. We don't necessarily want to post all that out on social media, but we want to share it with those friends, family, and loved ones. Microsoft Teams provides an ideal environment. So whether we're talking critical care for you know a loved one, whether we're talking hospice, whether we're talking funeral arrangements, or just the, those joyous times in life, you know, and hey, maybe we don't want to share it with the whole world. It's amongst ourselves. Microsoft Teams for free. I'll have the link below. Take a look at it. Think about using it as that secure place to coordinate, collaborate, and share all of life's joys, sorrows, and the things that you want to do from a personal, private standpoint with your friends and family. It's there for you, Microsoft's there for you. With that, just some food for thought. <clears throat> this is Michael on the go. Again, I'll have some resources that you can check out afterwards below the video. Have a great day. Take care, and as always, ciao.